So this is the first Saturday that we are talking about this very important topic of prayer. We are learning how to pray. Why are we doing that? Why are we learning how to pray? Is this important? I believe this is crucial. The disciples of Christ asked Jesus just one request. If you read the Gospels, you're going to find out that the disciples of Jesus, they never asked Jesus, give me 10 steps to have a better financial life. The disciples never asked Jesus, teach us how to spell demons. The disciples never asked Jesus, teach us how to walk on waters. But the disciples asked Jesus in Luke chapter 11, verse 1, teach us how to, teach us how to pray. The disciples noticed that Jesus' prayer life was effective. The disciples noticed that Jesus' prayer life was powerful. When Jesus prayed, God listened. When Jesus prayed, things happened. Jesus' prayers were different than any other type of prayers that those disciples ever heard in their entire lives. Jesus communed with God as he was talking to a friend. Jesus was opening his heart as he was opening his heart to his best friend. They noticed that Jesus prayed throughout the night. They noticed that Jesus would wake up early in the morning to pray and commune with the Father. Jesus the very man God spent time in prayer. The disciples were amazed to see how Jesus prayed and asked Jesus, teach us how to pray. So we are learning how to pray together. We are going through the devotional book together. We are talking about prayer. I told you my first, my first remarks on this series was, God wants to hear your prayers. God is a good father. He wants to give us good gifts. He wants to listen to you. He is actually willing and desperately waiting for you to share with him what is inside of your heart. And you don't have to come to him with fancy words. You don't have to come to him with a list of pre-made requests because he already knows your heart. And he knows who you are. He's waiting for you, only for you to come to his presence. Because as a heavenly father, he wants to bless you with great gifts. He understands your cry. He actually is the only one who interprets your cry. You don't even know how to pray. The Bible tells us we don't even know what to pray. When we come before him, we don't even know what to say. Had you ever been in that situation? where you come before God and you don't even know what to say. You only cry. He interprets those tears and he understands what is going on in your heart right now. That's your heavenly father and that's the power of prayer. I told you that the power of prayer don't rely on you. It's not about you. It's not about your resume. It's not about your social status. It's not about who you are. It's about who he is. It's about to whom you're praying to, and the one you're praying to is Jesus Christ, your Savior. And every time you pray, God receives your prayer. The Holy Spirit of God interprets your prayer, and your prayers now are going to be sanctioned in the name of Jesus Christ. And he will make your prayers right, and he will help you to develop a closer relationship with God through prayer. Last Saturday, though, I was...